हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन यूज एसकुलाइट डेटाबेस इन ओवर एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग कॉटलाइन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो आई हैव डिजाइन हेयर लेआउट हेयर आई हैव टेकन टू टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस एडिट टेक्स दैट इज एंटर नेम एंड पासवर्ड and then i have created four button also insert display delete and update so i will divide this lecture in four parts so in first part i will tell you how you can insert the record then in next video how you can display then how you can delete and at the last how you can update your record using sqlite so for that i have enable the view binding also i have explained explain you that view binding is the mechanism to overcome find by view id method so by just making this property true we can create or use view binding so here i have enable view binding also i have attached the layout with view binding object now here we are going to create the connection with sqlite and we will insert the record so i am just making it very simple that here i will create a class that class will have all the operations or the connectivity with sqlite and one by one we will create a function within that class and use for insert display update and delete operations so i will i will keep this class separate and database connection class in separate so here i am just going to create class here the kotlin class the class is my db connection like this so i am creating a class so class has been created here now this class i am going to extend with sqlite open helper this one and this ask some parameter so those parameter i am creating here first one is context so i am creating the variable context then second one so context we are importing the class then second one is uh, the database name so we say db name so where db name that is a string and last one is db version that is also we can say int so i am passing these value in this super class constructor that is context and db name and db version and third parameter should be null like this so error remove now we have to now we have to improve we have to import the methods two method that is should be override so i am overriding these methods like this now before this i have to create some static variable so in static variable we have to use companion object and here i am creating the value like uh, variables i am creating here that is table name so well table name that is string type and table name is equal to we say login table or we can give another table we can we say login info like this this is my table name then well table name we need column name so call one 
string type and here we say username like this then well call to then we have password or we may have here some primary key also so I am taking this column 2 and column 3 and I am taking one more column for primary key that would be auto increment so column 1 that would be int type column 1 that name is user id so user id username user password these are the static variables which i am taking here now i will create the query also so well we say query string and here we are creating a query that is create table then table name table name then we just create table table name we are creating the symbol for creating a table then we are taking call one call one and after space we are getting uh, we are uh, calling this as integer it would be integer primary key and auto increment like this then comma then we have comma under this then we will add one more column that is call to then space and that would be the text type comma then plus call 3 then that would be of text type again comma and bracket not comma then bracket after this so i think query is completed for create table create table then space then table name then call 1 then we should have space integer primary key auto increment then call to space text call three space text so query is created now we have to create here query so that would be db and that is also db so here i say db dot is like xql then i say query same here we have to use the symbol also and here also db is like xql we say drop table if exist then table name like this we are creating for updating the version and then again we have to call this query as a query then query for create table i can convert the name also as a create table but this is query that we will create a table and this type of thing is complete here now i have to make a connection of this so i will make a connection here that well db con then my db connection like this equal to my db connection here we have to pass the reference also that is main activity then next one is the db name so db name i say login db info and then i have to give version so version is first like this and here i will call my method binding button dot btn insert because i will insert the information and on click listener on click listener like this here i will 
call a method to insert the information in the database. So for that I will create one more method here. These are inbuilt methods but I will create my own method for inserting a value that fun insert. This is the method and this method will have the information. What information it have? It have the information that I will insert in name and password. So I am giving it here where well we say name username then string again well we actually we have to remove this because in function we do not need to declare where or well and here then we have password string type like this then we have the database well db equal to uh, we need db that equal sqlite database equal to this dot writable database we want then I need content value then well content value values and here I will declare this content value then alt enter now I will insert the value dot put first value would be the call to then I will have username like this and again content value dot put next value is call 3 because call 1 will automatically come and then we have the password like this now I will insert this information so for inserting that we have a db dot insert here we have to give table name table name is already there then we have to give the null and then we have to give the content value and this in return the long value so we have where well uh, result long equal to this and I will return this value and here I have to declare this the return type would be long like this way so this is complete insertion now from here I will call this method so I am calling this by dbcon dot insert here I am passing the value if these values are not null then I can pass here so for that uh, I say if binding dot binding dot txt name dot text dot is empty okay so we say is not empty like this and binding dot txt password dot txt is binding is empty is not empty if both are not empty then we have to do this thing but if it is empty so we can toast information that please insert values first and then toast dot short dot show and here we are passing the value binding dot txt name dot txt dot to string similarly binding 
डॉट टी एक्स टी पासवर्ड डॉट टी एक्स टी डॉट टू स्ट्रिंग सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वी आर पासिंग हेयर एंड दैट विल रिटर्न द लॉन्ग वैल्यू सो वी हैव हेयर वेल रिजल्ट रिजल्ट इक्वल टू वी हैविंग दिस सो वी से इफ रिजल्ट डॉट इक्वल माइनस वन इफ माइनस वन इज देयर एंड एल्स लाइक दिस सो वी हैव टोस्ट इफ देर इज ए माइनस वन दैट मीन्स रिकॉर्ड नॉट इंसर्टेड सो वी से रिकॉर्ड not inserted but if that is not minus 1 that means record inserted okay so if it is minus 1 then record not inserted but if it is not minus 1 then record inserted so this is the way to insert the record in SQLite database, and if I try to run this, and if everything is okay without error, it will insert the information. We show if I enter here, uh, like weapon, my name, and I say password Kumar, and I say insert. If everything is okay, then record inserted. display in record is inserted without any error so one information have inserted in the next video we will see how we can display this information so that's all in this video thank you for watching my video